Confucius once said, education breeds confidence, confidence breeds hope, hope breeds peace. Honorable Dr. Susil Premajayantha, Minister of Education, distinguished members of the head table, members of the faculty, non-academic staff, our, our dear parents, guardians, and my dear fellow graduates. A very good afternoon to all of you. First and foremost, I must say that this moment has been a dream in my life, and I cannot express how proud and blessed I am to represent the NSBM Batch 10 as we mark the final day of our university life. It still feels like a dream that just four years ago, we stepped into this university with lots of hopes and dreams to achieve, to finally wear this cloak and share the last few pages of our lives here at NSBM together. Batch 10, on behalf of everyone here, my heartiest congratulations goes to all of you. <laughs> Class of 2022, we finally did it. As your fellow batchmate, I'm so proud of every single one of you. We all worked hard and achieved this milestone today. Let's wait proudly and celebrate it with our loved ones. Four years ago, a 20-year-old girl stepped into this magnificent university, mesmerized carrying a lot of heap, hopes, and dreams to achieve, with one of them being to earn a first class and to stand on this very stage to speak in front of my beloved parents. And here I am today with not just a first class, but also working as an SAP consultant at Attune Consulting. I must say that this journey was not an easy one. Sleepless nights, failures, disapprovals, and disappointments. Through it all, I'm proud to say that we all went through all of this and achieved this by today. Hence, I urge all of you to have the same spirit when moving forward in your life. Know that nothing good comes easy. Before we close this chapter in our lives today and move to the next one, it is rightly important to thank each and every individual who has been there for us. First and foremost, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, sir, Honorable Dr. Susil Premajayantha, Minister of Education, for being a great supporter to NSBM throughout its journey. Next, I want to extend my thanks and deepest appreciation on behalf of my badge to our Vice Chancellor, Professor Yevir Singer. Dear sir, the creator and the pioneering leader behind this amazing university. We were able to transform ourselves into better versions because of your vision turning into a reality. More power to you, sir, to keep inspiring young minds like us for many more years to come. Deputy Vice Chancellor, Professor Chaminder Ratnayaka, and Head of Academic Development and Quality Assurance, Professor Bharata Dodankotua. Thank you all for your guidance and support throughout the past four years. Your presence here at NSBM is truly commendable and remarkable. A team is a reflection of its leaders. Hence, I want to convey my sincere gratitude to the higher management of NSBM for laying the groundwork and adding value and color to the university. Next, I want to extend my heartiest thanks to the Dean of the Faculty of Computing, 
Dr. Rasika Ranavira. You are the ray of sunshine that brightens up FOC with a warm smile and humble personality. You will always be treasured, and may you gain the strength to pave the way for many more students here at NSBM Green University. Another big thank you goes out to the academic heads and the lecturers. We wouldn't be here without you, dear sirs and madams. We honor you for everything you've done going above and beyond your duties and responsibilities. We really hope we made you proud. Among all, there is another great personality that cannot be forgotten on this very day. And it is none other than Mr. Mohammed Shafraz, who is a mentor, lecturer, and my research supervisor. Thank you, sir, for all the wisdom you have imparted on us. The integrated effort of the administration, career guidance unit, and the examination department of NSBM have truly proved to be the strongest links of all. The amazing staff who work hard to keep this university clean and safe. We as a family are thankful to your immense service extended to the betterment of the university. We see you and we value you. Now I would like to extend my gratitude to the ones that are dear and close to my heart. My dear parents, I'm thankful to each and every one of you for all the immeasurable courage, effort, and guidance you have given us. We are grateful to you for making us who we are today. We hope we gave value to all the sweat and the tears our fathers and mothers have shed for us. The story behind me is quite different than any of you might ever think. My life wasn't the easiest the past four years, with my tati falling sick, along with so many other complications. I personally had to go through a lot in my life, physically, mentally, and emotionally. I had to face at least one exam of every semester with a heavy heart and mind as something unexpected always came by me. There were nights I used to cry hard all by myself while studying, thinking if I'll be able to have him at my graduation. And today here he is, seated right in front of me. Dear Tati, thank you for molding me into the strong woman I am today. You taught me life. You taught me that things don't always happen as we wish, and most importantly, to accept whatever that comes by our way with a smile and a big heart. You are my sculpture of positivity, Tati. Today, we are here as a family, all because of you and your strength. You will always be my hero. Dear Ami, I've never seen a woman as strong as you are. Sorry. You told me to be independent and to come back stronger each time I fall. I'm forever grateful and I honor you for all the efforts, dedication, and hard work throughout. All that I am, or I ever hope to be, I owe to you, Ami and Tati. Finally, a big thank you to my little sister for being the light of my life. You always wanted to see me shining like a star, and I hope I made you proud, Nangi. 
There's one other great personality that I cannot proceed without mentioning. Although he is not here today, I want to extend my heartfelt gratitude to Dr. A.L.M. Nazar, who has been a strong backbone to me and has supported me unconditionally. I also want to take this opportunity to thank everyone who gave us the slightest contribution. And this appreciation goes to all our family members, friends, relatives, colleagues, and my beloved seniors and juniors. I also want to apologize if I fail to mention any of you, but do know that I value each and every one of you. To everyone who is graduating today, this is for you. In life, we must understand that every person we meet is fighting a battle we know nothing about. So be kind always. Each and every one of us have our own stories, grappling amidst heavy hearts and happy smiles. No matter what, you have proved the world we did it. Batch 10, make Mother and SBM proud wherever you go, wherever you decide to be. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. This is just the beginning. My dear batchmates, I think it's time to truly show our appreciation with not just a word, but with a highest respect. I invite you all to please rise up from your seats. My dear batchmates, this is for you. Thank you. As you know, it takes two hands to clap. And just as that quote states, we had two hands that lifted us these four years. Let us now give our heartiest and biggest round of applause to our dearest parents who are seated right beside us and to our dear lecturers who are seated right in front of us. You all deserve a part of this victory and we won't make it to the finish line. We all love you a million times, and dear lecturers, we will miss you so much. Thank you, my dear friends. I'm Ishma Pereira, and with that, Batch 10 of NSBM is officially signing off from NSBM Green University on the 12th of January, 2023. Thank you.